Good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening, my brothers and sisters. You that are out there in radio land under the sound of my voice, happy, happy, blessed New Year. Yes, this is the first Saturday of 2020. How we thank and praise God. Yes, once again, he has looked beyond our faults, brought us over into a new year. Yes, this is the Perfect Peace Bible Church Ministry. Once again, we are coming to you live, yes, in the radio station of KTYM Media Entertainment, where our visionary is the Dr. Thomas Blackwell. Yes, this is the t- Perfect Peace Bible Church Ministry, your humble servant, yes, uh, Pastor Charles L. Ashley. How we thank and praise God that he has smiled upon us once again. Yes, and our theme is, yes, if you make the step, God will send the help. Yes, he hasn't promised us a flowery bed of ease, but he has promised us that he would never leave us or forsake us. That, yes, he's a supplier, my brothers and sisters, for our every need, but it's on his time, yes. And the way we move God is we walk by faith and not by sight. Yes, good evening. We pray that everyone, yes, in spite of the situation, condition, or position, that you've had a blessed new year. And I need to remind you that if he brought you over into this new year, that, yes, you've had a blessed year. Amen. So happy new year. Yes, yes. The Perfect Peace Bible Church is located in the beautiful city of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Our address, yes, our address is 111-51-53 South Broadway Avenue, zip 90061. Yes, this is the Perfect Peace Bible Church ministry coming to you once again. Then how we thank and praise God for our listening audience. Yes, amen. Our service time starts at 10.30 a.m. every Sunday morning. Doors are open at 10 a.m. So stop by, check out the ministry. Yes, the Perfect Peace Bible Church ministry. What a time, what a time we had on watch night service when the Lord was so gracious that he added, yes, added a soul, yes, and hands to the ministry. So we are thankful and grateful to God. What a time, what a time we had with the fellowship and of the Sunshine Community Baptist Church, um, Pastor Joseph Rogers and the interim pastor of Adoram, uh, Pastor Leroy Dr. Leroy Shepherd, yes, we had a wonderful, wonderful time along with the Perfect Peace Bible Church family. Yes. Now, my brothers and sisters, this is the first Saturday of the new year, and we are grateful, amen, to be in the radio station once again. So thankful to the God that he has continuously answers our prayer. Yes, to have our First Lady, Sister Geraldine Ashley, back in the radio station with us once again. God has raised her up, yes, and given her the strength to be back, amen, by my side. So we thank and praise God for her this evening. Yes, now my brothers and sisters, we thank and praise God, amen, for our sponsors. Let us not forget them. Let us not forget, yes, the house of prayer for all people, Pastor Gregory White. And that church is located at 9318 Southwestern Avenue in the city of Los Angeles, California. And you can hear, yes, Pastor Gregory White on this broadcast, yeah, every second Saturday. And we're coming to you with good news, yes. And then, um, let us not forget Jay's Holland. Jay's Holland. Jay said, if you call, he'll haul. Yes, and that number is 323-835-2101. Jay's Holland, 
Yeah, 2101. So let us support our sponsors. Then to you, my brothers and sisters that are under the sound of my voice at this time. Amen. Call a neighbor. Amen. Remind them that the Perfect Peace Bible Church is on the air on the World Wide Well. So we say Happy New Year once again. And at this time, this is our prayer time and our introduction Yes, of our radio broadcast. And that number here in the station is 323-412-3979. Once again, that number is 323-412-3979. I would thank and praise God that he's continually undergird, amen, the ministry. But we need your help, my brothers and sisters. Make no mistake about it. We are asking that you would, if the ministry is being a blessing to you, if the word is being a blessing to you, if the prayers are being a blessing to you, we ask that, amen, you would drop a donation yeah, in the mail. And once again, the Perfect Peace Bible Church Ministry, 11151. That's 53 South Broadway Avenue in the beautiful city of Los Angeles, California. And that zip is 90061. Once again, that number is 9, the zip is 90061. Address, once again, 111-51-53 South Broadway Avenue. Then we... Solicit your postcards and comments. And let me remind you that all donations are tax deductible. Yes, we are a 501c3 cooperation. So all donations are tax deductible. And we'll get your letter, amen, to your address. Uh, yes, once again, this is our prayer hour. This is our prayer hour. That number to call in, let us stand in agreement with you. That number is 323-412-3979. Yes, amen. And we want to stand in agreement with you, not for the celebration of New Year's Day, but for the whole 366 days of this year. Yes, leap year, leap year, for however long yeah, that God allows us on this side of eternity, yeah, on this side of eternity, to praise and worship him and come together in fellowship and stand in agreement on one accord. For in that wise, amen, the word of God has declared that he will be in the midst of it. So give us a call. Let us pray with you as well as pray for you. Amen. Then our 24-hour prayer line is 323-755-7418. Once again, our 24-hour prayer line of the Perfect Peace Bible Church ministry is 323-755-7418. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. How we thank and praise God yet yeah, to be in the KTYM radio station tonight. Yes, this evening at this time, coming to you. So wherever you might be, Happy New Year. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer. Yes, amen. Um, I want to say tomorrow is Communion Sunday at the Perfect Peace Bible Church. Once again, our doors swing on the hinges of welcome. You're invited, amen, as we celebrate, yes, the greatest gift that humanity could ever receive. Yes, the amen. greatest gift that humanity could ever receive. Do hope and pray that everybody had a gracious holiday season, Yuletide season, as we make ready, amen, to go back to uh, school, uh, jobs, uh, whatever the case might be. Amen. But God is a good God, and we come at this hour, yes, we come at this hour to let you know to hold on to God's unchanging hand. 
Once again, my brothers and sisters, this is the Perfect Peace Bible Church Ministry. Yes, how we thank and praise God that he continued to open doors that we might be here to share a word of encouragement, a word of comfort, a word of praise and prayer, yes, a word of wisdom, yes, to somebody, amen, that's standing at the brink, yes, that we might, amen, speak a word of encouragement, yeah. Then we want to, amen, be in prayer, yes, for an alumni brother of mine, the Bishop Lorenzo Edwards, yes, amen, who lost his daughter, yes, and we didn't ask you, you had to do the social media thing, check out, amen, his GoFundMe pages and uh, whatever you can do, I'm sure that it will be most appreciative as we make preparation for a homegoing celebration of his daughter. And I can testify of that, amen, that it's not an easy task. Uh, it's not an easy task. It's something, amen, that you don't get used to, amen, uh, when you got to, amen, prepare to uh, bury one of your children. My prayer was to God that uh, I would never have to do it, but uh, it wasn't his will. But I've come to tell you, uh, Bishop Edwards, Lorenzo Edwards, if you uh, under the sound of my voice, or if you hear this broadcast on YouTube, God will sustain you. Yes, God will sustain you. And I just tell it like it is. I'm I'm still hurting. Yes, I'm still hurting. And a lot of time we think because we are in the church and we are pastoring and, and leading God's people, we of all know, yes, that... The sun don't shine on our side of the street every day for we have a passion not only for our family but those that God have placed under our stewardship, those that, amen, we run across and meet and interact with in our daily lives. Yeah, but God will, yeah, sustain you. I want you to know that. Amen. The Perfect Peace Bible Church is in prayer for you and the family. Amen. To make those preparations. Oh, bless his holy name. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. And as I said, my brothers and sisters, amen, we're so thankful to God to, amen, be back in the radio broadcast booth uh, once again, be back here in the radio station in the city of Inglewood, California, yeah, the city of champions, and KTYM Media Entertainment, as we said, our visionary, Dr. Thomas Blackwell, amen, and we give him a shout-out. He just had a birthday, yeah. <laughs> we give him a shout-out as well. Oh, praise his holy name. Then I, I thank and praise God. Amen, for the love of my life. I told her she was looking so good this evening when we got ready to come to the radio station. I said, I might need to just call Dr. Blackwell and tell him to put on a CD. (laughs) 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 Amen. (laughs) Yeah. Amen. But we are thankful to God for all that he does. Amen. Amen. And our life and our I pray that we will be a blessing to you. Then I don't want to forget, amen, our sponsors once again, the Lord House of Prayer, um, Pastor Gregory White. And that address is 9318 and Southwestern Avenue, Los Angeles, 90047. And then Jay's Hauling. Yeah, Jay's Hauling. Uh, he said, if you call here, Hall, Jay has reasonable, amen, costs. He's reasonable. Yeah, give Jay a call at 323-835-2101. Tell him that 
You heard it, amen, his advertisement, uh, yes, on the Perfect Peace Bible Church Ministries. Yeah, well, we, our theme is if you make the step, God will send to him. And I wonder, amen, who's willing, amen, to move up a little higher this year. Yes, I tell people when you do what you always did, the results are the same. Yes, the results are the same. Amen. So we look forward, amen, to walking through those doors. Yes, of exaltation, yeah, of progress in the name of Jesus. Yes, we do. Amen. God bless you. Once again, we are in the radio station at this hour, and our prayer line number is 323 323- Four one two three nine seven nine. That's three two three four one two three nine seven nine. Give us a call. Let us stand in agreement with you. But the record says we're two or three together uh, uh, and in one accord. Yeah, there with the touching and agreeing and in one accord, there will he be in the midst of. So give us a call. Let us, amen, stand in agreement with whatever your request is. Yeah, we might stand in agreement with it, that the Lord's will be done according to your supplication and your request that God will answer. That's why he told us, amen, that we should always pray and not faint. Yeah, don't get tired of praying because God loves to hear that you know, amen, that he's a sustainer, he's a keeper, and that he is a provider. Yes, yes, yes. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Amen. We're going to turn this mic over to Sister Ashley and see what's on her mind tonight. I'm hoping and praying that she would, amen, sing us a beautiful number uh, to uh, sing us a beautiful number, uh, yeah, bless us in song, and like we said, amen, tomorrow, 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 we celebrate communion at the Perfect Peace Bible Church. That address is 111-51-53. The sanctuary is 51, yeah, South Broadway Avenue, Los Angeles, Nine zero zero six one, Sister Ashley. It's always a pleasure yes. and a blessing to be here at the studio. Amen. And I just thank God, thank God for just enabling me to be here. I owe it all to Him. I just thank God, and that's why I'm. I'm here to sing God praises because I appreciate Amen. everything he have done for me, yes. doing and going to do for me. I just appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to sing, <clears throat> I Almost Let Go. I almost let go. I felt like I couldn't take life anymore. My problems had me bound. Depression weighed me down. But God held me close. So I wouldn't let go. God's mercy kept me. So I wouldn't let go. I almost let go. I was at the edge edge of my breakthrough, but couldn't see. Depression had me bound, but Jesus came and and helped me. God held me close, so I wouldn't let go. I am here today because God kept me. All my life today, only because of His grace, He kept me. God kept me, so I wouldn't let go. I was almost 
let go. I was at the edge of my breakthrough, but couldn't see. The devil had me bound. Depression had me down, but God held me close, so I wouldn't let go. God's mercy kept me, so I wouldn't let go. I am here today because God kept me. I'm alive today、yeah. only because of His grace. He kept me. God kept me. He kept me, and I wouldn't let go. God's mercy kept me, and I wouldn't let go. No, I wouldn't let go. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Boo. Thank you. Thank you, praise God. Yeah, don't let go. Hold on, man. Yes, hold on. Never let go. Yes, hold on to God's unchanging hand, and if、Amen. you hold on to His, He will hold on to yours. Yes, He will. I'm a living witness. Yes, He yes, will. Yes, yes. yes. Amen. My brothers and sisters, you out there in Radio Land, hold on to God's unchanging hand. Yes, now, like we say, this is our prayer time. We got a few more minutes before we're gonna get into the word.、Amen. This is our prayer time, and our prayer line is three two three four one two three nine seven nine three two three four one two three nine seven nine. And once again, as we say, Amen. We're not begging, but we are asking. For the Bible says, "Ask and it shall be given." Amen. As we look around, as we come into the radio station,、Amen. and Doctor Thomas Blackwell has all this expensive and beautiful equipment. Yes, yeah, that we might be able to. Share, yeah, on the worldwide well with you、amen. the thing that God is doing and wants to do, Amen. If you would just put Him first in your life, yes, put Him first in your amen. life, Amen. Yes, that you'll be able to weather the storm better,、oh, yes, because they are coming. Yes, yes.、Oh. If you keep, Amen, waking up in the morning. Yeah, no matter how holy you are, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's the, right. storms will come. Yeah, yes, storm will, will come. But thank God, we got a captain of the storms. Yes,、Amen. and his、Amen. name is our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Yeah,、Amen. we got a storm coming. As Peter then was on the Sea of Galilee, yeah,、yes. storm rose up, and Peter went and woke up Jesus and declared,、yes. "Master, do you care if we perish?" And Jesus responded as he got up from the hinder part of the ship and went up and stood, yeah, on the deck and just spoke to the wind and told him to be still. And we want to pray for you tonight, Amen. If you just call in whatever storms, Amen, that you're confronted with, yes, whatever storm that, Amen, is pressing in your life, we want to stand in agreement with it. Once again, that prayer line number is three two three four one two three nine seven nine. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. It's preaching time now. Yes, Amen. It's preaching time. Yes, it is. Now,、um, just before we share the word with you tonight, as we said, Amen. We're not begging, but we are asking. Yeah, man. Drop us a postcard if the ministry is being a blessing to you. If the broadcast is being a blessing to you, then, Amen. Drop us a donation, a love offering in the mail. It's tax deductible. Amen. That we might be able to stay on the air and say, Amen. Somebody, yes, encourage somebody by the preaching of the gospel. Yes, yes, by the preaching of the gospel. Yeah. Amen. So we're asking that you would help us out to stay on the air and be a blessing. Amen. Amen. 
to somebody somewhere, someplace, and I'm a living witness that God blesses those that he can bless through. Yes, God blesses those that he can bless through. And that's why we are here to be a blessing to somebody. Yes, we go. Somebody somewhere, amen, might need, not might, but uh, no need to hear the good news. Amen. Yeah, they need to hear the amen. good news of Jesus Christ. Yes. yes. For he teaches us such the scriptures for you. Thank you, fine eternal life, but they only speak of him, amen, who made a way that amen. we might have eternal life. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We're going to ask Sister Ashley, amen, to bless us with another song, and then we're going to get into the Word. Yes, we're going to get into the Word tonight. Amen. amen. This first Saturday of this leap year, 2020. All right. Okay. You got, you got a song for us? Oh, of course uh, I do. All I right. I do, I do, I do. Okay, okay. do it. <laughs> do my do. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sing, um, Teach Me, Lord, How to Wait. Mm. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount upon the wings of an eagle. Oh, yeah. They shall run. And not faint, they shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, how to wait. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount upon the wings of an eagle, oh yeah, they shall run and not faint, they shall walk and not faint, teach me Lord, teach me Lord, how to wait, you know Job was sick so long, till the flesh fell from his bones, he has sores to the crown of his head, the Bible says. And no matter how long it takes, Joe said, I'll, I'll surely wait. Teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, how to wait. If you're sick and can't get well, and your doctor cannot tell. Turn it over to the Lord. He can heal, I know he will. And no matter how long it takes, God will heal you if you wait. Teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord, how to wait. Teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, how to wait. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Yes, we need teaching. Amen. Need to be taught. Amen. Yes, amen. Now, once again, my brothers and sisters, you that are in Radio Land on the World Wide Well. Yes, this is the Perfect Peace Bible Church. Amen. Yeah, ministry. And our theme is, if you make this step, God will send the help. Yes, he I will. I will thank and praise yes, God for our listeners tonight. Amen. I'm going to, amen, as to see, I'm going to jump out the box tonight. Yes, I'm going to jump out the box. Things that... Amen. That have been going on that we've been hearing, not only on the news, amen, but just in our city. Just amen. in our city. I was talking to a brother of mine in Dallas, Texas last night, and I was just uh, saying, man, what's going on? 
in the state of Texas, all those killing and things. Amen. Amen. And I know Amen. if you had on the TV anywhere, you see how yeah. the Antichrist, yeah, you see how Satan is coming against the church. But I come to tell somebody, Amen. He will never be victorious in it. No, he will never be victorious in the warfare. For we already have been guaranteed the victory. Yes. yes. Amen. And I want to encourage you, as Sister Ashley is saying, amen. Ask the Lord to teach you how to wait on him. Amen. And I know, amen. amen. Somebody saying, well, Reverend, it ain't happening to you, Pastor. It ain't happening to you. It's happening to me. Well, I would be a lie if I stood here and told you that it has never happened to me. Yes, it has happened to me, amen. too. Amen. And we quit running behind these prosperity messages because I don't care how much money you have. Amen. How many accomplishments you do. Amen. Trouble will find you. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Hello. This is the Perfect Peace Bible Church Ministry. Hello. You on the air? All right. Amen. Amen. That was a call, but they didn't say anything. But uh, yes, uh, once again, our prayer line is three two three four one two three nine two three. Once again, our prayer line in the radio booth is three two three four one two three nine seven nine. Our twenty four hour prayer line of the Perfect Peace Bible Church. Amen. Is a three two three seven five five seven four one eight. Give us a call. Leave your name. Yes, and we'll surely get back to you. Amen. As I said, I, tonight I want to get out the box. Amen. Somebody might think it's strange. Amen. That, of this message, but it's what God has laid on my heart and looking at all that's going around, uh, going on, not only amen. in our nation, but around the world. Amen. Yes, amen. And so amen. I, I asked the Lord as I meditated and prayed, and I've come to the conclusion that, uh, amen, that we are not together. We are not together as a church family. We are not together as a people. We are just not together. Amen. Amen. The only time, amen, it seems like that we get together is when there's a tragedy. Amen. But Mm -hmm. we need to be on the wall on the daily. Yes, we need to be on the wall on the daily. Amen. Amen. And then... Amen. Our brothers and sisters, amen, shouldn't have to, amen, ask, amen, when we observe and see, amen, that there is a need. Amen. Yeah. And, and that's one area, amen, I'm praying, amen, that for, for the, the, the Christian movement that we would come together and I just believe, amen, that if we would come together according, to, yes, amen, according to Second Chronicles, yes, uh, 14 and 7, yes, if we would come together, yes, if we would come together, yes, God have promised us that he would heal our land. Yes, and if we did. ever needed a healing in our land, Yes, we we need it now. Ooh, yeah, we yes. need it now. And yes, we do. Sharing yes, with Sister Ashley on my way, yes, amen, to the broadcast station just this evening, thinking about my alumni brother and my fellow yokeman, Bishop Lorenzo Edwards, amen, and the loss of his child, amen, through violence. Yeah, we need to come together. And I believe, amen, if the Christian, amen, church would come together, yeah, that we would make a difference, amen, that we would hear from heaven, 
Yes, that we would hear from heaven. Amen. We look like, amen, we're, we're crabs in a basket and time one try to get up a, a, a crab that behind him will reach up and grab him by his technicals and pull him back down in the basket. And yeah. That's what I want to talk about tonight, amen, as we go into this new year that we are already in. Amen. Yeah. Let's make an effort, my brothers and sisters, you that are under the sound of my voice. Yeah. And start at home. Yeah, start Amen. at home. Start with your family. Amen. Amen. Getting your family together. Yeah. Sometimes we have to put up with things, amen, that's uncomfortable with us. Amen. But I tell you, anything worthwhile having is worthwhile making a sacrifice for. Man. Yes, it's Man. worthwhile yes, it making a sacrifice for. Yes, mm. they are. Just because, yeah, people won't listen to you. Amen. You just keep on doing good. Yes. Amen. And loving. And I want, that's what I want to talk about tonight. I told you I was going to get out the box tonight a little bit. Amen. It won't be a communion message. We'll do that tomorrow. But I want to talk about, amen, this brand new year. Yeah, amen. that we need to get together as a people. Mm-hmm. We look at it, amen. amen, even in our political world. All this time, amen, we got five and six people vying Amen, for one party. Why can't the party come together and say, hey, this is who we're going to support? I might not like everything they say or do, but this is who we're going to support. Amen. Yes. Amen. So I want to call your attention to very familiar scripture for Bible readers in the book of Ezekiel, the Old Testament, the Old Testament in the book of Ezekiel. Yeah, the 37th chapter, the 37th chapter. Yeah, and I want to begin reading, amen, at the fifth verse. 37th chapter and the fifth verse says, Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Amen. And this is us in this seventh verse. So I prophesied. In other words, so I preached as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. Amen. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. Amen. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, amen. an exceeding great army. Yes, amen. amen. And I want to reach back, amen, into that, yeah, that tenth verse. Yes, and just say, so I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath, yeah, and the breath, yeah, came unto them, and they lived and stood up. Upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Yeah, may the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and especially obeyers of his holy and righteous word. My brothers and sisters, I'd like to reach, pull out of that text for a theme. Let's get together. 
Yeah, Amen. this is 2020, and we've seen down through the years what separation do to us, causes us undue suffering, pain, and harm. Yes, but we know, amen, that there's power in numbers and, and togetherness. Yes, it is. Amen. Yes, amen. amen. And if we get together, amen, and pray like God has, amen, instructed us to do. Yes, yes. yes. Get on yes. one accord. Yes, amen. amen. I'm not saying that we're going to agree on everything, but amen, for the good of us all. Yes, we need to get together. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes. amen. And so I want to say amen. And if we don't get together, amen, like I say, we'll get the same old results. Yes, we'll get the same old results. And, and in the text, amen, one of the first signs of death is when the physical limbs of the body fail to function. And I'm sure somebody would agree with me with that, amen, as I was talking, amen, with a friend of mine just yesterday, amen, and he recognized that he had had a minor stroke and he was explaining to me how when he went to pick up something that his hand, amen, his fingers wouldn't operate. Mm. Yes, his fingers wouldn't operate. And yes, and he said he realized that something was wrong. Yes, well, brothers and sisters, if we don't get it together, amen, we'll be just like that. Man, I think, as a matter of fact, I know sometimes they diagnose it as a stroke. And we've, amen, been stroking long enough, amen. separated long enough, amen, amen. letting other uh, entities of this world and of this nation keep us separated. But it's time for us to start talking, amen, about togetherness. Amen. Yes, it's time for us to start talking about, amen, putting, amen, at such a disentity here, radio stations, yes, amen, amen back in our community. Yes, yes. yes. And it's time for us to start putting, amen, black businesses back in our community. Man, I, I, yes, ride yes. and I, I speak it everywhere I go. Look like everybody, amen, is bringing different businesses in our community, but they are not investing nothing in our community. They come, we come and buy, and they take all the money out. Amen. I know amen. I'm right about it. Amen. 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 Right. 7 Eleven here, right here in the city of Los Angeles. You, five years ago, you couldn't, you had to ride a country mile to find a 7 Eleven. Now they're coming up on every community, in every corner, in every community Amen. in our neighborhood. Amen. Take observation, my brothers and sisters. We need to come together. Yes. Amen. And if we don't come together, amen, we'll be just like this valley of dry bones. Yeah, amen. we'll be just like this valley of dry bones if we don't come together touching and agreeing and, and being on one accord. Amen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for it's time, my brothers and sisters, for all of us. Yeah, and I'd love to see it. Amen. Start not this year as we moving toward uh, an election. Amen. The, the black vote ought to be a, a block in determining who's going to lead this country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we built it. They built it on our backs. Man, so it's time. Yeah, for every, all of us, yeah, in every walk of life to get together. We are divided today. We are divided in our cities and in our state. Yes, amen. amen. We are divided in our government. We see it already, amen. We are divided over national and international affairs. Just what happened, yes, over in um, Iran, 
Yes, they're divided, amen. Some of us are for it and some of us are against it. And now we are walking around wondering, yes, amen, what's going to happen? We already know, yes, that the gas pumps is going up higher. Amen. amen. We already know that. We're getting ready, for preparing for that. And it just keeps us. Yeah, it's, I, this is my big word for the night. In a quagmire of wondering what's going to happen from day to day. Amen. Let's get together, my brothers and sisters. Amen. And this year, yeah, let us make a difference. Yeah, yes. we are not together in, a, in our community. We are not together in our home life. Yes, Man, we go to home going celebration and people are talking about how dysfunctional the family is. Amen. Let's get together. Let's get together. Yes. Amen. The younger people of this generation, they aren't on the court with, amen, us older people. Yeah, I consider, yeah, I'm at that stage and age in my life, yeah, where I've been through enough things. Yes, amen. to tell young folks, amen, in the way that they should go. And, and right. yeah, in certain situations, how to shun bad company. Mm-hmm. Yes, amen. Let's get together. Amen. We are not together. The world seems to be filled, yes, with race hatred. Yes. Gang yes. banging has yes. took its yes. toll yes. in our community. Oh, yes, when do we come together? Amen. And let me say something to you. They are our children. Oh, yes, they are. Yeah. They didn't crawl across, amen, the Mexican border. No, they didn't crawl. They are our children. Amen. We need to get together. Yeah, our political system is not together. Yeah, you see right now in the midst of, amen, Republicans and Democrats, we are trying to impeach, amen, the president, uh, the running proceedings. But the Bible said that we are to pray for our leadership. Amen. And that's just not, that's just not only in the church. Everywhere. Yes. Uh-huh. I can take you back to Exodus. Yes, I can. Amen. Pharaoh them. Yeah, they wasn't in the church. Yeah, but they had God's people in slavery. Amen. But they prayed. They prayed, and God raised up a deliverer in Moses. And he'll do the same for us if we get it together. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. He'll do the same. Yes, amen. And we're not together, amen, religiously. We are divided, yeah, in our religious and Christian affairs. You know I'm right about it. Man. I know my message ain't popular tonight, but I was just sitting around thinking and praising God. Mm. And I'm going to tell it like it is. Amen. Well, I'd rather have you mad at me than to have God mad at me. Man. You see, uh, in the text, uh, Ezekiel was God's preacher. He was the son of a priest born and educated in Judea and was taken captive by a Babylon king. Amen. And while uh, serving in Babylon, God took Ezekiel for a walker in the spirit and carried him out into uh, this valley and set him down in the midst of that valley that was filled with uh, dead bones. Uh, yes, um, my brothers and sisters, and we're walking around, uh, yes, uh, with uh, dead bones uh, in our spirit. Uh, yes, Amen. our spirit is dead uh, because uh, we are slow for, yes, in obeying the word of God. 
Yes, uh, God told uh, Ezekiel yeah, that uh, these bones uh, represented the whole uh, house of Israel. So e- Ezekiel is looking at the church uh, yes, uh, that is supposed to be a uh, live church. Uh, yes. yes, that is supposed to be uh, making a difference uh, in a sense world. Uh, yes, uh, this same uh, God uh, showed up uh, yes, in the New Testament uh, yes, uh, in Acts 1 and 8 and told us to be a witness uh, yes, uh, in all the world. Uh, yes, but uh, that the condition and the situation uh, of our environment uh, yes, uh, look like uh, yes, we are uh, a church of uh, dead bones. But uh, I come to tell you tonight, uh, amen, that the church uh, is not dead. Uh, yes, uh, and all we have to do if we want to see a difference, uh, yes, is uh, let a sense world know that uh, the God we serve is still a man in the soul uh, saving business. Uh, yeah, yes, that, uh, the God we serve is still yes, in the healing business. Uh, yes, yeah, yes. the God we serve, my brothers and sisters, uh, is still uh, in the providing business. Uh, yes, yeah, yes. He is, um, amen. Uh, and God is uh, letting us know, uh, yeah, that the church, um, amen, is supposed to be a live church. Uh, yeah, that uh, land dead, uh, amen, sky. Uh, separated yeah. and divided uh, one from another Amen. is not uh, God's uh, standard. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, these bones uh, had, that were dead, uh, as Ezekiel looked at them, they had to be liking something to keep them alive, uh, my brothers and sisters. Uh, and I need to ask the question uh, right here, uh, amen, uh, what is it that's keeping us uh, separated? Uh, yes, uh, what is it, uh, amen, that is much uh, uh, finances that we generate uh, in this nation, uh, oh great God, uh, why, amen, that um, we can't uh, have banks uh, just like uh, the other ethnic uh, culture uh, comes uh, in, uh, to our country. Yes. yes. Um, when I uh, uh, read my history, yes, um, oh, great God, uh, we're making more than uh, we ever made uh, as a people. Yes, uh, in this day and time, uh, yes, uh, we not only have uh, experienced uh, the blessing of God, uh, yes, uh, not saying that it was perfect, uh, amen, amen, but uh, God opened the door and showed us that, uh, amen, that uh, we are leaders, uh, yes, uh, God opened the doors, uh, yes, that uh, we can uh, Lead and guide. Uh, amen. amen. When we think about uh, the black males, uh, yes, and uh, I'm not prejudiced. Amen. Uh, black governors, uh, black senators, yes, uh, in uh, the highs uh, leadership uh, of uh, this nation, uh, yes, uh, why can't uh, we get it together? Uh huh. <laughs> Amen. Why can't we get it together? Amen. It's time, my brothers and sisters, yes, for is. us to uh, get it together. Amen. Yes, and uh, yes, I just stopped by to tell you, <laughs> amen, that uh, something is missing. Um, yes. Yeah, and, uh, and one of the devil's uh, greatest fighting tools 
Amen. Is to keep us uh, divided. Um, amen. amen. Uh, in our opinion of what we think and uh, what yes. we should do. Uh, yes. Amen. Uh, he specializes. Yes, he does. And uh, separating us. Amen. Uh, even uh, in our homes, uh, yes, yes uh, in a uh, uh, manner of worship, uh, yes, uh, he divides us in our minds and scatters us, uh, amen, uh, like shafts uh, in the wind. Yes. Uh, yes, he does. I come uh, to yes, tell you, does. amen, that it's time, uh, yes, it is, uh, for us to uh, get it together, yes, and amen. the reason why. Paul and Silas were able to get word to heaven uh, yeah, that they had been bound in prison at Philippi. Yes, uh, oh great God, um, amen. They were uh, bound in prison was because they were working for the cause of Christ amen. together. They were able to stay together, serve together, suffer together, amen. something that uh, we don't uh, want to do, uh, amen. amen. And the adversary, amen, will come against us uh, when he sees that uh, we are getting in it together. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I admonish you tonight, uh, amen, to hang on, uh, yeah, and to uh, the word, uh, yes, uh, amen. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, amen. Yes, uh, then uh, turn uh, from the uh, separated, uh, yes, I might as well uh, say it. Uh, sinful ways of separatism. Uh, yes. Uh, then uh, we'll hear from uh, heaven um, how he uh, heals our land. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes, he will. Yes, he will. Um, yes, he will. Yes, let's get it together, my brothers and sisters. Amen. My time is out. Amen. I got a whole lot more I want to tell you. Amen. But let's get it together in 2020. Amen. Yes, let's come together in 2020. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. Amen. Lord said the same. We'll see you next week. Amen. But go into this new year. Amen. 2020 with the mind that, amen, that you're going to bring your family together. Yes, amen. Yes, There's Lord. power, amen, in togetherness. Yes, yeah. yes Get on does. one accord, amen. And even in the midst of our trials and tribulation and going through, you'll yes. see the Lord in our midst. God yes. bless you. Don't forget tomorrow, tomorrow, amen. At 10 a.m., the doors of the Perfect Peace Bible Church open. Yes, the doors of the Perfect Peace Bible Church Amen. open. Amen. At 1030, we start our praise and worship service. On Wednesday night, we have our prayer meeting and Bible study where we call it our family affair. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 And I'm just a firm believer if people knew better, they would do better. Amen. Yes. Yes, Let us will. get it together. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer. Pray for us, amen, as we pray for you. Amen. Amen.